Hello everyone. In this D365 CRM video series, today we will review the UI or the user interface. As you might be aware, I'm producing a complete video series available in both English and Tamil. Uh, for details about the playlist, please refer to the description below the video. In the last video, we discussed the Power Apps has a three types of apps. The first one is a portal is distinct from the other two. In the case of the remaining two, CRM and ERP utilizes model driven app. Remember, model driven app uses a dataverse and has a predefined UI, which means all the models has similar UI. In video two, we cover the basics of the CRM sales process, which has a lead, opportunity, account and contact along with the activities. It's important to have a structure system in place, right, to store all these informations. Let's discuss more on this. We collect and store specific information throughout the process. Say, for example, lead, right? We collect a basic information about the person and the interest. Uh, they may have a company name as well. After uh, multiple calls, meetings, and follow up, the lead is converted to opportunity. So in this space, we have an option to create account and a contact either manually or automatically. So in this case of account is simple as an organization or a company. Contact is a person whom we are having in discussing with this. We may have more than one contact in this whole process. So in this case, uh, SAM LLC is an account, which is an organization name. So industry is manufacturing. In this case, we have a two contacts, John Smith, he's an IT manager, and another contact, Jan Doe, he's a CFO, right? So in each account may have a more than a one contact. So along the whole process, throughout this process, we have a lot of interactions, which is activities, right? So no, the activity is tied to you know any one of the table or entity. So we may have an email, phone call, meeting, fax, and some internal notes. Let's review the user interface. In video three, we discussed how to create a trial instance using an office or official ID or by creating an EFI developer program tenant. So you may store the URL for the trial instance. If you don't have that URL, no worries. Uh, we'll find out what is that URL. To do that, um, to open a trial environment or to open the trial instance, open a private or incognito window. And I just open here and then type admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Okay. In this case, already I logged in. In this case, you know, you may need to enter your either official ID or whether you if you created a e file the developer program, you may need to enter your the email ID which you created newly. Once you entered here and then the left navigation, click on the environments. And then in this case, I already created a sales trial. Open the sales trial. That's the environment. And then we can find the environment URL here. Just click on the URL. That's where the URL trial instance will be created. Now the application completely opened. So here is a left navigation. So home, recent, customers, sales. Um, these are the left navigation. And then the customers and sales, it's called groups. So here, account and the contacts are grouped together as a customer. Leads, opportunity, competitors are grouped together as a sales. So in the left navigation side, we can be able to group together um, for a couple of tables or the entities. In the top bar, we have sales hub that's called app. In a single environment, we may have a more than one application or one apps. So in this case, uh, sales team member, this application or this app is specific for a team member. And then sales hub, we may allocate this application or another application specific to manager or regional directors. And also we can able to create a new apps on any you know, environment based on our you know, based on our needs okay let's close here already the sales hub is already if we selected that's how we are looking this application the left navigation side if you click on dashboards already we have a predefined 
uh, dashboards available still we can able to customize and also we have a many dashboards available here so this one is a specifically on activity uh, dashboards another one is a sales dashboard so in the say you no know, dashboard is a uh, dashboard is nothing but basically kind of an insight about your sales process okay so in the each component here you now we can able to customize it and also we can able to create new dashboards in the sales process we discussed leads opportunity account and contact to view the leads you can click on the left hand navigation side click on a leads and then it displays uh, the consolidated uh, data on the view we have a multiple views already uh, out of the box is defined still we can able to create our own to view the record click on the record and then you can see uh, the, here is the tabs this is called summary details files these are the tabs and then inside each tabs we have a multiple sections like a contacts company each one is a section and then the here this one the qualified develop process this is called business process flow okay the business process flow is kind of the stages uh, it tells where exactly uh, currently in the process wise so right now this leads in a qualify stage and then once that it's qualified then it will move to develop stage so that we can able to view the stages on each one of the record here the same way we can able to view leads opportunity contacts and account uh, if you click on accounts you can take a look at the similar structure like uh, you know this one is a view it's a consolidated accounts it has a multiple views still we can able to create our own to open a record just double click it and then it has our own tabs we can able to create our own you know, our own tabs as well and then each one called here in account information address everything is in a sections to edit the record we can just open the any of the record just double clicking here and then we can be able to edit the record uh, just changing the data and then save or save and close and if you look at here right, when you open a record it has a own menu bar okay there's a context space and then we can able to see that you know, different actions on this account uh, record same way if you go to contacts it has a own uh, menu it has a own context base you know it has a own a menu bar still we can able to customize it which you now buttons we want to enable it view it those kind of things still we can able to um, configure it to create a record uh, we can able to create a record or uh, in this case create a new contact by clicking a new or we can able to create uh, using an another called quick create so there's a two ways to create a records say for example when you are on a contacts view we can able to create a new records from here or the other way around it's called quick create I mean the top menu bar in the plus symbol we can able to create an account or a contact here Let's click on account here and then we can able to here so i'm just going to test and then just save and close in the sales process we discussed i uh, know we have activities or multiple uh, follow-up will go when the lead will convert to that opportunity so when we open a record on a lead for example and then we can open a each record or one of the record and then click on the menu bar and then click activities that's where you we can able to see it all the activities like a phone call email meeting task notes you know all of them being able to view it from here in crm we have another concept called a timeline so the timeline gives us what event or what action is happened specific to this account in this case so in this account is a datum corporation if we look at the timeline when the record is updated what phone call you now all kind of interactions basically it shows in the timeline and so when the user looking at the record it, it shows all of the information in crm platform we have a couple of search one is a quick search another one is a global search and the third one is it's advanced find so when you are on a view say for in this case we are in account my account my active accounts and then you can see in the right top car you know you have a search bar and then when i search here say for example i in c 
and then you may not be find out because now you need to get some wildcard put some star here this searches right so the i can see it searches within these accounts so this is called quick search the second one is a global search which in the top menu bar you can see the search icon and then here i can say i can see and then it finds out same thing it will go to the wildcard search and then this may find that same INC it finds accounts contacts and then leads right so the previous one was searching only within the view and now it searches the uh, global the third one is advanced to find so we can click on the funnel icon and then you can, i'm going to search you know advanced to find using an account the difference here is this in this search advanced to find we can be able to filter or a search using in you know, a multiple actions like here so in this case owner equal to you know current uh, equals to current user and the state is equal to active and then i can add a more uh, filter here so i can say account name not uh, contains our data so and then i can remove it um just say apply so in this case i can be able to apply multiple things that's kind of advanced find so there is a three searches one is a quick search and another is a global search and then third one is ad advanced find so the next one is in the left navigation side we can find recent item you now all the any record whatever we are looking at it and also we can be able to pin any one of the items here say for in this case basically i'm going to say my open leads i'm just pinning out and then another account or something i can be able to pin either the view or the individual record when we click on a pinned one so this can say it's you know, when you want to do a follow-up or something you can pin it out so that it for a you know easy navigation so in the crm model we can do uh, some personalizations to do the, some personalization for example here click on a, a settings icon uh, we can do some personalization say for example how many records you want to display in a, in a view what is your default uh you no know, table you want to show them what's your time zone and then all you know, some kind of uh, personal settings we can be able to do it in this settings today we learned about the user interface how we can navigate the records to see the timeline and then activities and then do some search and then kind of do the personalization and then now next how our learning tracks look like we learned the crm sales process and then you know environment setups the last week we learned power platform today we gone through that user interface next we will discuss additional examples see you on the next video thanks for watching enjoy the learning